this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to learn all about how to grow Coreopsis. Now, Coreopsis is a beautiful perennial. It grows just like a Shasta daisy, and it comes back from year to year to year, and it has all types of gorgeous yellow sunflower-type flowers on it, and it's a really pretty plant. And it's native to North America. To figure out how to grow it, I always consider its native areas. Now, Coreopsis grows wild on the prairies all over the Americas. So it likes hot, really dry summers and then really cold winters. So it's hardy from zone 4 to 10. It can handle quite cold temperatures. And it's a gorgeous plant that's easy to grow. So you can buy it any time of the year. This is purchased in the fall, so I'm going to plant it and it'll come up and bloom next summer. And this variety is Coreopsis baby sun, and they call it tick seed as well because a lot of the, there are two different reasons, and they say that the seeds are just like little black ticks, and when you're walking through a field of wild Coreopsis, you get the seeds all over you, and that's how they spread. And also, the ticks can hide out in the plant too, so sometimes if you're walking through a nice gorgeous valley of Coreopsis, you might end up having ticks on you. But they like full sun, they bloom in the summer, they like well-drained soil, they get about a foot and a half to two feet tall, and they're hardy in really even to zone three. So they can really handle some cold, cold temperatures. They have really bright and cheerful yellow flowers, and they're pretty compact. So when they multiply, they don't really take over too quickly. And they're great for cut flowers, too. They're not like the African daisies that close up when you cut them or when it's shady. They stay open all the time. So Coreopsis, sometimes they call it Calliopsis, is a gorgeous plant that belongs in your garden, especially if you have a butterfly garden because the butterflies just love it and they will be in it all day every summer. So you can plant it any time of the year. It's a very hardy perennial.